Yeah, I've been gone a while. I haven't been doing much, but the last two weeks I've been working on this and learning how to use that Corel Draw a little more. And uh, painted that up. Got chrome on there. Camera's not showing it, but it's real shiny chrome. It's a monocoat. And uh, the rest of it's all paint. So I'll show you how I did that here on Corel Draw. And uh, so here's a little what I did on Corel Draw. First, I traced the shape of the wing and stuff on this piece of paper. Kind of got a rough drawing of the wing. And then what I did is scan it into Corel Draw. Now this isn't the the wing, but this is the rudder, and it's basically the same thing I did. I traced the shape of the rudder there. And then kind of freehanded what I wanted. And then once I freehanded all that, I came back in. If you grab this one, and I drew over the top of that tracing and uh, did that by using all these tools over here, the drawing tools and uh, drew that and then flipped it I copied and pasted it and then flip it so I only drew the rudder one time same with the the elevators here and if you look at the elevator and the wing they're the same so the elevator I just shrunk down I could do that because the shape here around the edge was the same but on the rudder I couldn't do it as a different shape so I had to redraw it so and that's how I did that and then I got the chrome over here these are the chrome strips and I printed that on the back of chrome monocoat and I'll show you guys how I did all that all this stuff I printed on masking tape and just stuck it right to the wing. That's a perfect cutout, so if you put that edge right up against the rudder and lay it down, it fits right on there. So and I'll show you how I did that, make the stencils with tape. So here's how I made some of the stencils with uh, that program. You can see I got the monocoat there. This is the plastic uh, airbrush they call it a frisket tape it's not really sticky and you can tell here it's on this sheet of paper it's all wrinkly now but when I put it on the first time it was all smooth but it doesn't really stick to the paper too well I mean it sticks but it doesn't tear the paper so I covered this sheet of paper pretty much two rolls of that and that covers the paper once you get that on there and all smooth with no wrinkles it's not too hard you tape the paper down and just put the frisket on you come back with this masking tape so it takes about a roll and an eighth to cover the sheet of paper and you put the masking tape over that frisket and then you run that through the printer over there and uh, just stick it in there and run it through prints out basically same as it does on a sheet of paper that one I kind of painted you know trying to figure out color scheme and stuff so and that's what I did there and then you can see here on the monocoat I did the same thing I taped it's all on there but I just taped the monocoat right to the piece of paper and that's how I got those uh, chrome strips on the wing so and that's basically that you know I had to print it a few times get the right shape and stuff that one wasn't the right shape so then I just cut it out the perfect size that's basically how I did it <clears throat> so I just picture masking tape on that piece of paper and then when you print it you get that and you cut that out right there and just stick it right on the wing right where it goes and then come back with a little exacto knife was I using this one here it's got that little blade on it that swivels and once it was stuck to the wing I had my pearl white down already painted and then I came back over the top and painted the black pulled the checkers off did the green and then 
Now the paint I used on the dark color is this color changing paint. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up in the garage, but I got some pictures that I took outside in the sun. Yeah, you can see the chrome strip there. Just not picking it up, but it's shiny. Yeah, you can see me in it. But the paint, that paint changes colors. So you got blue. I don't know if it's going to pick it up here. Might just have to look at the still images from in the sun. But it changes from green to shade of blue and then a shade of purple. Maybe if I just put the light straight down. There you can see blue. There's the green. purple. Yeah, you have to look at all. Put some still images on there. The sun, it really did over the top of the chrome, too, to help keep it on. So that's the old sun racer, the red plane. 200, pretty close to 200 miles an hour. And a dive well over 200. So yeah, that's my last hobby adventure. Haven't been doing much with it. Just been working a lot and Try and get ahead of the game. So we'll start making some more videos here and uh, see what we come up with.